It's been described as Moscow's cathedral of consumerism, the biggest shopping complex in the capital. This is the European Mall. Eight huge floors filled with all the top brands from London, Paris and Milan. The face of a new Moscow facing a new threat from Europe. The threat of sanctions and retaliation for Moscow's intrigues in Ukraine. Shoppers now anxious about what's ahead. It will influence us. The minimum damage is that the European goods will be more expensive. We work with foreign companies or with foreign goods. There are a lot of them on our market. We're going to be fine without Europe or the USA. We have a strong economy. We will cooperate more with CIS countries and Asia. We will turn east. But at Moscow's brand new financial center at the heart of the city, the mood on the currency and trading desks is a little more relaxed, a feeling the sanctions are a two-way street. Because they know that sanctions can cut both ways. Russia is quite simply Europe's biggest single trading partner, accounting for more than 40% of trade last year. No surprises that the EU has failed to share Washington's enthusiasm for strong economic measures against Russia. Some of Europe's biggest economies are most vulnerable. Germany, 40% of its gas and oil imports come from Russia, while the other way around, Germany accounts for 30% of all EU exports to Russia. France, in 2011, negotiated the biggest sale of weaponry to Russia worth $1.6 billion, including putting up for sale a pair of Mistral helicopter carriers, the first due for delivery this year. And London is now the safe haven for Russian billionaires, who spent $900 million on the London property market in the last year alone, with 70 Russian companies listed on the London Stock Exchange. President Putin said we might lose something on these sanctions, but I don't really expect profound sanctions and I don't really expect that there will be a substantial damage to Russia's economy. And in Moscow, the Kremlin's now drawing up a raft of retaliatory measures if sanctions are imposed on Russia. A new law would allow Moscow to seize Western companies. Individual private accounts and personal property could also be confiscated. Russian lawmakers say the new legislation would defend our sovereignty from threats. On Thursday, the EU froze the assets of the former Ukrainian leader Viktor Yanukovych and 16 other senior officials. That sanctions net could well be widened now, following news of the Crimea's decision to join the Russian Federation. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Moscow.